And he didn't really have to do that, and he realises it. Ryan McLennan knows that throughout this season, the lack of concentration at times has been Leeds' worst enemy. And also, perhaps, uh, not being aware of the play of the ball area. Here's Paul King, who will drive it in again. Tackled by uh, Medeiros and pushed back by Kevin Sinfield. Leo Lato is the dummy half. Moore was the dummy runner. This is Sam Ox, and he was uh, gathered in by the tall figure of Ian Kerr. Second row for the last six. They're playing a prop forward tonight. Now, Paul Cook fires the pass to Kermond. He takes it straight towards Jay Pitts. Pretty good work by the big second row of Pitts as well. He realised that it was going to be a flat ball. Came up in the line. Pretty solid defence from the Rhinos at the moment. Oh, but Glenn Morrison will get over the line for Wakefield's first try. Here's Jamie Jones Buchanan. He did Great well. Great tackling up. from Wakefield. Yeah, it is. He, he did well, I blip there. He really got rocked back. Okay. And again, applying the pressure from the prop forward. Maguire's kick finds its way into the arms of Luke George. It's a good chase by Jay Pitts. 22 appearances with Wakefield. He's an ex-lead season ticket holder, is Jay Pitts. Now playing for the club he supported from Jay. these famous terraces at Headingley. And the most important factor as far as Wakefield and John Keir, the coach, will be concerned is, look, they've got over the halfway line on the second Jay. tackle. Jay. And that means with the ability that we've seen already from Sam Ops and Paul Cook, that kicking on the blind side, they're putting, applying more pressure to the Rhinos. Paul Johnson nearly threw a hole then, and uh, Morrison was sniffing the opportunity on his shoulder. Here's Obst again, that ricochets off a Leeds man, it's awfully awkward, it's very awkward, it's come up for Sam Obst, and Obst, a second try for the Wildcats, is it? Or is it? Well, it didn't Smith seem like there was much wrong with it. No, Ian Smith knockoff. wants to see whether there was a hand touched by a Wakefield player. I don't think there was. Again, utilising that short blind side for the kick, it ricochets off a Leeds player. I think you'll find that it's Lee Smith. But they're looking now to they... see if he's onside first, aren't they? Well, That's the time. first question asked, but to the video referee. Is Damien Blanche just a hint, or is Sean Gleeson? He seems happy with it. There's no knock on there. He was. Uh... Let's play on, Damien, Steve Damien Blanche missed, missed the kick, and as it turns out. Hall can't get to it, and guess what? Sam Ops can. This will be TRY, and the Wakefield supporters will go absolutely wild. They're but stunned to the Rhinos. They're checking the grounding, but uh, wasn't Damien Blanche in a slightly offside position on this near side? Say James no. Child doesn't think so, I think, because this will be try, and it is. Well, this is where Leeds have to get planning permission now. They've got to just camp down there. And he got the penalty. Take the quick tap. Two points is no good to them. They need possession. They need to lift their spirits. And they'll get that with a try if they can get over this time. And here is Brent Webb. Jason Dramichu gets to him, though. That's the first tackle. Oh, he's lost and hands it. Hands in at the oh. play of the ball. Second quick penalty for Leeds. Looks as though he, he just lost control, but can Wakefield's defence hang in? They're coming up as a unit. Lulawai driving it in. His improved form has coincided with Leeds' march up the table. Here's Badiris. Now it's with Maguire. Went Webb. Ball goes to ground again. But they managed to keep possession somehow. Smith did well then, getting it away to Ryan Hall. A little bit of panic setting in. And there was in, a it? hand in it, apparently, a hand by Wakefield. The referees wiped the tackle count down. Even more pressure. But I just get a feeling that, that Leeds are a little bit under panic at the moment. We've got to get the likes of Sinfield Maguire out there to control things. Great try from Lulawai again. Taking Leeds right underneath the Wakefield posts. Here is Badiris, now Sinfield. Sinfield! Gets the ball away to Maguire. Maguire just goes in. Off. Another of the internationals off. comes off the bench for Leeds. Come they've had uh, Peacock on, and now they've got uh, the New Zealand international Greg Eastwood. He's been in fine form as well as uh, the New Zealander. Has the ability to run out wide as well, and they'll probably be pinpointing Sean Gleeson. Well, they'll find him hard to deal with. He's a uh, he's a handful. And he's got a great offload as well. A couple of tired Wakefield forwards out there. 
Smith plays the ball. Here is Peacock. St Helens are increasing the pressure on Hull. Now it's Badiris. It's Sinfield. Moore was waiting. Badiris finds Maguire. Here's Eastwood. Well, Leeds quite happy. First man take it in. Second one, they bring him back on the inside. That means that they're working the first and second markers. Ablett here gets the ball away to Jamie Jones Buchanan. And Leeds get over for their second try. Damien Blanche waits at dummy half. Looks the pass to Dimitriou, but uh, there was an ambush waiting for him there. Maguire and Kirk. Certainly, Ops once more. Certainly was. Kirk was caught on there. Went, oh. went away with that. They were disappeared. Away. They don't need to. Look, they had to control the game. Now he knows John Keir that he's put his own side and they put themselves under enormous pressure. All right, it wasn't the best pass, but as soon as Gleason got to it, why on earth do you get rid of it? They know there's only seconds remaining. This is poor play. I think I lip read John Keir. I think he said, Why don't they hold on to the ball? Or something like that. Well, it isn't often he agrees with me, but uh, they could f come up with more points here, Rhino, as they're, they're very adept at doing that. Well, Hull, it was a big night for them. St Helens 22-6 uh, up. And uh, here now is Diskin, who finds Sinfield, who in turn finds Maguire. Now it's with Webb. Over the top it goes to Scott Donald! And Wakefield will not take the lead with them into the half-time dressing room.